Hey, what's up guys? Well, I'm sure a bunch of you now have figured out that an iOS 12 jailbreak has been released, Uncover has been released by Pwn to Own, as well as the rest of his jailbreak team, and uh, we did some awesome coverage about it so far. We did a jailbreak tutorial, some of the top tweaks that you can install, and things are off to a good start. But this is still a beta, and I'm sure this question is going to be asked sooner than later. Well, if I'm jailbroken, how do I unjailbreak my device? Or how do I get all of these modifications removed and returned back to stock iOS? So this is our unjailbreak tutorial, and it's really, it's easier than ever. Pwn to Own has built in a tool directly within the jailbreak utility to entirely remove the jailbreak. So before we get into this video, definitely like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking news. Also check out our Best Tech Info website. We post some good stuff there when we don't have time to make a video. Lastly, before we begin, I just want to say thank you so much guys for the incredible support. It has been an absolutely incredible experience covering the jailbreak yesterday, and we're going to continue this weekend doing some awesome coverage. All right, let's get into this un-jailbreak tutorial. So without further ado, all you have to do is go into the Uncover Jailbreak application. As you guys can see, my jailbreak is currently enabled, but it doesn't matter if your jailbreak is or is not enabled. You just have to go into the application like this. This is the same one that you use to jailbreak. You go to the settings icon right down there at the very bottom. Now we're gonna scroll down just a tiny bit to this restore root FS recover option right here. And essentially this is how you un jailbreak. All you gotta do is toggle that guy on right there and this is going to remove all of your jailbreak related data. This is not going to restore your device. This is not going to remove any personal data. This is only going to remove the jailbreak. It's going to remove Cydia and it's going to remove all of your tweaks and all of the tweak preferences as well. So if you guys recall on the very first time that you jailbroke your device, this utility created a root file system snapshot. And now with this restore root file system option checked right here, it's going to revert back to the state where it was before we did any jailbreaking or modified any files. Again, this is just going to remove jailbreak related data and your personal data is entirely safe. That being said, it's always a good idea to do an iTunes backup on the computer before performing a process like this. All right, so with that checked, literally all you have to do is head back to the jailbreak icon right there, that tab, and then click re-jailbreak. Now I just wanted to show you guys my jailbreak is currently running. I have a ton of tweaks installed, Noctis, a bunch of cool stuff, but it is a lot, guys. 30 tweaks at once is almost a little bit too much for me. And with this fluid widget going on in the background, the battery drain is just awful. So I'm gonna start from scratch after yesterday's top tweaks video and entirely remove my jailbreak. Well, here we go. I just clicked re-jailbreak. Again, this is technically going to un-jailbreak our devices with the root FS restore option checked. So it's gonna go ahead and re-go through the jailbreak process right up until it gets to about step 21 right there. And it says, notice, will restore root FS. This may take a while. Don't exit the app and don't lock the device. Now, all you have to do is click OK. On my iPhone 10, this process usually goes really quickly, but for whatever reason, when I do it on my iPhone 5S, this process can take up to 15 to 20 minutes to actually complete. So just leave your device sitting there. It's probably just going to stay on this screen right here. Right after you click OK, you will eventually be prompted once more or your device will restart at some point. So I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And that is the prompt that we were waiting for. It says, notice the root file system has been successfully restored. The device will now be restarted. So if you get that notice, everything was performed correctly. We can go ahead and click OK. And just like the prompt said, your device will now restart. 
and once it boots back up, all of your jailbreak related files will be removed and you will be reverted back to a stock version of iOS. Again, whatever version of iOS that you are running from iOS 12 to 12.1.2, you're going to remain on that firmware. None of your personal data is going to be touched. None of your apps are going to be removed, only jailbreak related data. So I'll go ahead and open up my phone right here just so you guys can see. Now, Cydia technically still is on there. This file though was just sideloaded actually, so we can go ahead and delete that and click done. And then if you guys don't want to jailbreak again, you can just delete the uncover application. So you can just hold it down once more and delete it off your device. Now, the Cydia icon is technically still present right there, but Cydia has been entirely removed. All of its dependencies and all of its files are are no longer there, only the icon is showing up. So to fix that, we're gonna go into the settings app, we're gonna go to general, and then we're gonna go to reset, not regulatory, reset. And here within the reset settings, the only way that I've really found to remove the Cydia icon right now without tools like Semi Restore or Rolectra being updated for iOS 12 is to actually go ahead and erase all contents and settings. Now, feel free, you can create an iTunes backup beforehand, before doing this, erase all contents and settings, and then restore that iTunes data backup to get all of your applications and all of your personal data back onto your device. Now, when you perform and erase all contents and settings, it's going to remain on the version of iOS that you are currently on, that you're currently running. So it's just going to wipe the data and set it back to factory defaults. This is going to remove the uncovered jailbreak application as well as the Cydia icon. This is a giant process and a giant pain in the butt right now. For those of you, if you're interested, you can actually SSH into your device and manually reset the icon cache by using the UI cache command. Basically, we have to reset the icon cache and while you can actually SSH into your device and reset it via some terminal commands, that's kind of a process as well. It should be as simple as going into the uncovered jailbreak application and selecting refresh icon cache, but for whatever reason, that option is not working right now. Let me know down below if you guys have any suggestions. Anyway, really the only way that I've found right now to actually get that icon off of your device, like I said, is to erase all contents and settings and then set your device up as new and or restore from an iTunes backup. But honestly guys, Uncover should be updated very soon to fix this problem. So if you guys can live with the Cydia icon on your home screen, either like that or actually displaying Cydia, that's pretty much as good as you're going to get right now until it's further updated. Let's go ahead and erase all contents and setting and uh, something saving to the cloud. We're just going to go ahead and erase now anyways. And uh, let's go ahead and do this just so I can confirm and show you guys that it's going to erase the Cydia icons. So I'll go ahead and let this erase all contents and settings process happen and I'll be right back. All right, well, here we are, guys. The restore has completed. And as you guys can see, the Cydia icon is completely gone now. I know that's a bit of a process because now you'll have to restore with an iTunes backup of all your data and your applications. Again, this should be updated in the very near future, so this won't be an issue. I would highly suggest right now just to live with the Cydia icon on your home screen, but if it's gonna bug you, you definitely can back up with iTunes, erase all contents and settings, and then restore your data with an iTunes back to its original state. Again, as you guys can see, if I go into the settings app and go into general and go into about, I'm still on iOS 12.1.2, the same firmware that I was on before jailbreaking. Anyway, guys, that is the complete unjailbreak and uninstall tutorial. If you guys enjoyed today's video, definitely give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe to stay updated with the latest jailbreaking updates. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, but until next time, this is Tony signing off.